Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. The purpose of this video is to help you learn how to know if you have kidney problems. Let's start by reviewing some basic information about your kidneys. First of all, what are your kidneys? Well, they are the major organs of the excretory system of your body. The other organs being the lungs and skin. Where are your kidneys? They're located just below the rib cage toward the back of your torso. There's one on either side of the spine. They function independently of each other. What do your kidneys look like? Your kidneys are reddish in color. They're typically described as being bean shaped. Each one measures approximately 4 inches or 10 centimeters in length, 2 inches or 5 centimeters in width, and 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters in thickness. Each kidney weighs about 120 to 170 grams or roughly one quarter to one third of a pound. The functional units of the kidney are tiny structures called nephrons. And each kidney consists of about 1.2 million nephrons. Let's talk now about what your kidneys do. The main function of your kidneys is filtration of the blood and removal of waste products and toxins from the body. The kidneys also maintain water balance in your body. They adjust the level of electrolytes or minerals in your body. For instance, sodium and potassium. The kidneys also produce an active form of vitamin D, which helps in maintaining calcium levels. They secrete a hormone which stimulates bone marrow to produce red blood cells. They secrete a hormone called renin which regulates blood pressure. And they remove excess foreign substances like drugs and pigments. Let's now start talking about how kidney problems occur. Generally, they happen when something causes damage to the kidney tissue, particularly to the nephrons which actually perform the filtering function. When there's damage to these nephrons, waste can't be filtered out. So wastes accumulate in the body and cause more damage. There are a number of kidney problems you should be aware of. Kidney stones are among the most common. They're usually not life-threatening. Although they can be extremely painful. Kidney disease, kidney infections, and kidney cancer however, can be fatal if not treated. As can kidney damage caused by injury from physical trauma or drugs and toxins. Now there can also be serious and life-threatening deterioration caused by conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. These can eventually lead to catastrophic kidney failure which would require dialysis or a kidney transplant if the patient were going to survive. No doubt you'll want to know what the general signs and symptoms of kidney problems are. The signs and symptoms depend on the type of kidney disorder, but overall there are some general symptoms we can talk about. First of all, there's back pain. It's usually in the areas where the kidneys are located. There can be discomfort like a burning or stinging sensation during urination. You may urinate more often or in greater amounts than usual, but you also may urinate less often and in smaller amounts than usual. Your urine may also be darkly colored. Reddish urine indicates that there is blood in your urine flow. You can also have difficulty when passing urine. More serious or chronic problems of the kidneys may present with the following signs and symptoms. Swelling of the body parts, particularly legs, ankles, feet, face and hands. General weakness and fatigue, increased blood pressure. Of course this is also known as hypertension. Nausea and vomiting. Loss of appetite with accompanying weight loss. A metallic taste in the mouth, with foul-smelling breath. Difficulty in breathing and possibly changes in your skin, like rashes and itching. Keep in mind, a lot of the above stated signs and symptoms can also be seen with other various diseases that have nothing to do with your kidneys. So, in order for you to know the actual cause of your symptoms, you have to visit your doctor. That's absolutely essential. He or she is the only one really qualified to diagnose your specific situation.
As mentioned on the previous videos, your kidneys being a vital organ in the body has a significant role. Their main function is to act as a filter system that removes waste products and excess fluid from the body. How high blood pressure can lead to kidney damage or failure. Your kidneys and your circulatory system depend on each other for good health. The kidneys help filter wastes and extra fluids from blood, and they use a lot of blood vessels to do so. When the blood vessels become damaged, the nephrons that filter your blood, don't receive the oxygen and nutrients they need, to function well. This is why high blood pressure or hypertension is the second leading cause of kidney failure. Over time, and controlled high blood pressure can cause arteries around the kidneys to narrow, weaken or harden. These damaged arteries are not able to deliver enough blood to the kidney tissue. Over time, high blood pressure harms renal blood vessels. The nephrons in the kidneys are supplied with a dense network of blood vessels, and high volumes of blood flow through them. Damaged kidney arteries do not filter blood well. Kidneys have small, finger-like nephrons that filter your blood. Each nephron receives its blood supply through tiny hair-like capillaries, the smallest of all blood vessels. When the arteries become damaged, the nephrons do not receive the essential oxygen and nutrients and the kidneys lose their ability to filter blood and regulate the fluid, hormones, acids and salts in the body. Damaged kidneys fail to regulate blood pressure. Healthy kidneys produce a hormone called aldosterone to help the body regulate blood pressure. Kidney damage and uncontrolled high blood pressure each contribute to a negative spiral. As more arteries become blocked and stop functioning, the kidneys eventually fail. Protect your kidneys by managing your blood pressure. Kidney failure due to high blood pressure is a cumulative process that can take years to develop. But, you can limit your risk by managing your blood pressure. Don't let high blood pressure damage your kidneys. Stages of Chronic Kidney Disease With chronic kidney disease, the kidneys don't usually fail all at once. Instead, kidney disease often progresses slowly over a period of years. This is good news because if CKD is caught early, medicines and lifestyle changes may help slow its progress and keep you feeling your best for as long as possible. 5 Stages of Chronic Kidney Disease to help improve the quality of care for people with kidney disease, the National Kidney Foundation or NKF created a guideline to help doctors identify each level of kidney disease. The NKF divided kidney disease into five stages. When the doctor knows what stage of kidney disease a person has, they can provide the best care, as each stage calls for different tests and treatments. Glomerular filtration rate or GFR is the best measure of kidney function. The GFR is the number used to figure out a person's stage of kidney disease. A math formula using the person's age, race, gender and their serum creatinine is used to calculate a GFR. A doctor will order a blood test to measure the serum creatinine level. Creatinine is a waste product that comes from muscle activity. When kidneys are working well, they remove creatinine from the blood. As kidney function slows, blood levels of creatinine rise. Your GFR measures from 0 to 100 and indicates your stage of kidney disease. Below shows the five stages of chronic kidney disease and GFR for each stage. 100 means no disease. 90 above is equal to stage 1. 60 to 89 is stage 2. 30 to 59 means stage 3. 15 to 29 is stage 4. 0 to 15 means stage 5. Once you know the GFR you can determine a stage of kidney disease. Your doctor can use your GFR to determine the appropriate treatment for your stage. Now if you want to learn some more or you want to see a list of the most helpful kidney health books and related resources. Simply click on the link below this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipe and tips, subscribe to this channel.